Chad on the camp, Leamington. Uh, thank you very much. Back to the minister. These educational institutions continue to go even further by mandating vaccines for all students and lecturers, regardless of whether students take the courses online or on campus. Does that make any sense? Students have no option. They're being coerced. Colleges and universities are now forcing students, if they want to pass, to attend classes in person to be vaccinated. If not, they are disenrolled. Students who have been disenrolled in their educational institution claim that they are unable to confirm if the student will be returning must repay their OSAP six months after that point of disenrollment. Why? Perhaps your ministry could reconsider its stand and implement a no vaccine mandate and tell these institutions they can no longer mandate vaccines. It has been said that education is something no one can take away from you. Minister, don't take students' education away. So, Minister, Question. what are you prepared to do to protect unvaccinated students who are entitled to an education and a good job? Return to the government, House Leader. Again, I uh, thank the member for the question. We've obviously uh, 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 prepared to do everything it takes to keep people in the province of Ontario safe, including our students. That is why uh, the Minister of Education, when it comes to elementary and secondary students, has ensured that we have one of, if not the safest, return to school uh, protocols in the entire country, Mr. Speaker. The Minister of Colleges and Universities, when the pandemic hit, we knew very well, Mr. Speaker, how important it was, was to allow these students to continue their education so that they could graduate, so that they could progress into the careers of the their, of, uh, of their choice, what they had worked so hard to do. That is why we put enormous resources in to allow our colleges and universities to pivot very quickly, something that they were going to do over a long period of time. We allowed it to happen uh, 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 seamlessly and, and very quickly so that they could continue to get the education that they're paying for, Mr. Speaker, and that is so vital, not yes, only sir? to their future, but to the future of the people of the province of Ontario. As the Minister of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade adds so many new jobs in so many different sectors of, uh, of the economy. We we need these students to continue to graduate so that they can fill the thousands of jobs that are empty and needing to be filled in the province of Ontario. They have a great future, Mr. Speaker, as do all Ontarians because of the decision. Thank you.